Hi, I'm Mike and I'm back with a new video with an amazingly simple method to find the first receptacle in a circuit or in a daisy chain. This method is so simple, you can do it in five minutes or less. You don't have to take cover plates off, you don't have to pull the receptacles out of the walls. It is so easy. It works out the principle of voltage drop. And I need to give a shout out to some of my viewers, Sparky for all of his great comments, and CM Dark who specifically gets credit for the method that I'm going to show you today. This method works off of voltage drop as do many of the methods for finding the first receptacle in a chain. And to do this, you're going to need a multimeter. What I've done is I cut the plug off the end of an extension cord and I've connected the probes of the multimeter to the neutral and to the hot wire. And this is going to make it easier for me to do the video. And if I were going to be doing this on a lot of circuits, it would make it a lot easier. Now you don't have to use something like this plug. You can just stick the probes in directly. But I found it difficult to hold those probes in steady enough with good contact to get a steady reading. So doing it this way gave me a very consistent reading and made it a lot easier for me. So you might want to do something like this. Now your multimeter needs to be digital and it needs to read in at least tenths of volts. The voltage difference that you're going to see from one receptacle to the next is going to be two or three or four tenths of a volt. You're not going to see a huge difference but we're going to magnify or amplify the voltage drop from one receptacle to the next by plugging in a heavy load. In my case, I'm going to use a hairdryer. You can use a hairdryer, a toaster oven, an air fryer, various things, anything that pulls a lot of current. Since voltage is equal to current times resistance, the more current you can pull, the bigger the voltage change you're going to see from one receptacle to the next. So you want something that pulls quite a bit of current. So what we're going to do is plug this load into one of the receptacles on the circuit and we're going to start measuring the voltage at each receptacle. And the first receptacle on the circuit is going to have the highest voltage. The last receptacle on the circuit is going to have the lowest voltage. And that's how simple this is. Now before we do this procedure it's important to go to the breaker panel, turn off the power, use something like a receptacle tester or a multimeter to find all the dead receptacles and that'll tell you which all receptacles are on that circuit so you know which ones you need to check as you're trying to find the first one on the circuit. So we're going to do this but first I want to show you a quick animation that illustrates how this works and then we'll get started. Okay before we do this for real let me show you a quick animation. Here we've got a circuit with four receptacles and we've got 122 volts at the panel. We've got the load plugged into the last receptacle and you can see as the current flows from one to the next the voltage is going down due to the voltage drop through the wires. So if you start measuring the voltage at receptacles and you see it going down you know you're going away from the first receptacle in the chain. So you want to find that receptacle with the highest voltage and that one is always going to be the first one in the chain. And on this animation you see the load plugged into receptacle number two and you see that there's very little voltage change on receptacles three and four. That's because the current is not running through those receptacles. So you're not getting that voltage drop. So if you start measuring receptacles and not getting a voltage drop, you know you're downstream and you need to go the other direction. Okay, so first thing I did is turn the breaker off and I used my receptacle tester to find all the receptacles that are dead. So I know which receptacles I'm dealing with. And there's four in this room and there's one over here in the living room. So I've got five receptacles I want to test. And what I'm going to do is randomly plug in my heavy load. I'll plug it in right here. Okay, then I'm going to use my multimeter. I'm going to turn it on volts AC and we'll plug it in right here to this receptacle. And the voltage is 120.8. 120.9. It's moving just a little bit. Okay, let's take it over here. Reads 120.5, 120.6. Okay, let's take it over to the next receptacle, see what we get. One twenty point five again, one twenty point six. So almost no change. So it looks like we are downstream of the load, not upstream. But 
let's just go ahead and check one more, see what we get right here. Again, 120.6. So the last three have been essentially the same. So that tells us that we are downstream of the heavy load, not upstream. So we need to go the other direction. The only other one is here in the living room. So let's try it. 121.2. So this one is the highest voltage. It is definitely the first receptacle in the chain. We know there's only five and that's the highest. So it's really that simple. That's all there is to it. You plug in a heavy load, you check the voltages at all the receptacles on the circuit, you go towards the receptacle with the highest voltage. Once you find that receptacle with the highest voltage, you have found the first receptacle in the daisy chain. It really is that simple. One thing I would suggest is once you've identified which receptacle is the first in the chain, it'd be a good idea to turn the breaker off, pull the receptacle out of the wall, take the hot wires loose from that receptacle, turn the breaker back on, check to see that there's one hot wire, and then use a receptacle tester or a multimeter or something to check all the other receptacles on the circuit, and they should all be dead. And if that's the case, then you indeed have found the first receptacle in the chain. That's all you have to do. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I really appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care.